Now, James was a pastor of the church in Jerusalem. There were thousands of people in the church in Jerusalem. And this is a question he asked. Is there any sick among you? That's kind of an odd question for a church with thousands of people. I mean, because you can have a church of five people, and, it is, and there's sick people. Okay? Now, the reason he says, is there any sick among you? Because these are faith people. They've been, they were teaching faith. The Bible is the word of faith which we preach. Amen. So, is there any sick among you? If there is, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith, say the prayer of faith. Prayer of faith. Shall save, the word save, sozo, it means deliver the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Now, the prayer of faith is found in Mark 11, 24 and 25. Matthew 11, 23, 24 and 25. And so in the prayer of faith, it's believing you have. Mark eleven twenty three 23 says, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. Jesus said this. And shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe what he says. Now, in the King James says, shall come to pass, but in the Greek, it says, happens, present tense, yes. when he says it. Then he shall have whatsoever he says. The next verse says, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them. Some translations says, believe you have received them, then you shall have them. Amen. And the next verse says, and as you stand praying, if you have aught against anybody, forgive them, so yes. that your Father which is in heaven may also you forgive go. you your trespasses. So we see in this James, where James says, the prayer of faith will save the sick, and, and the Lord shall raise him up, and if he has committed sins, they should be forgiven him, because part of the prayer of faith is forgiving other people so God can forgive us. Yes. So that's why it says that. Yeah. He'll deliver the sick from their sickness, and if they've committed sins, they'll be forgiven, because part of the prayer of faith is forgiving other people so our sins can be forgiven. Okay? And the reason they're they're praying, the reason they're praying that way is because if I if I haven't been able to receive for myself, you see, I have authority as a child of God. I have a healing belongs to me. Healing is the children's bread. Yes. Yeah. So it belongs to me, but every Christian is not strong enough. So we need help sometimes. Amen. So anytime you got somebody to agree with you in prayer, that's good. The Bible says, where two or more shall agree on anything they pray, my Father which is in heaven will do it for them. So that's why James says, if you're having trouble receiving your healing, just call for an elder of the church to, yes. to pray with you. I know they they used to, James, they, they used to anoint with oil. I mean, we still do that. But there's no power in oil to deliver you. There's power in faith to deliver you. That's right. The prayer of faith shall deliver the sick. The Lord shall raise them up. The prayer of faith shall deliver the sick. The prayer of faith Amen. shall deliver the sick. Yes. We need to be walking in love because without walking in love, our faith, won't, our faith won't work. But there's prayer of faith. There's prayer of agreement. There's prayer of consecration. There's prayer of praise. There's prayer of all kinds of prayer. It's all putting God first. Amen. That's my message. Thank Praise you. Thank you. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saves.